Hi everybody, I'm Sally. Today I'll overshare with you my tips on writing a good resume and a good cover letter. I'll put all the documents on my blog so you can check them out later. The resume and the cover letters are from three different stages of my life. The first one was when I was looking for a retail job, the second one when I was applying for internship, and the last one was when I was looking for radiographer jobs. 咁首先咧，認識四個英文字。第一個係 reference list 推薦信。咁依個咧係成敗關鍵嘅重要文件。咁我就會稍後先再作解釋。Resume 履歷 ，cover letter 求職信 ，CV curriculum father 亦都可以解做個人履歷。咁我以前咧成日混淆 CV 同埋 resume， 覺得兩個好似差唔多咁，但係其實咧好唔同嘅喎。咁 resume 就好似一張海報，上面咧就係貼你最靚嗰幾張相咧去 impress 個 interview 啊。相反咧 ，CV 就你要拎成本相簿出嚟，由你出世到而家嘅相咧都要擺入去，咁樣樣咧你就唔可以隱瞞任何事業或者學業上嘅空白期。咁如果個 interview 啊睇呢個 CV， 見到你有成年冇讀過書或者冇做嘢。或者其中一份工，你就係做咗幾個月，咁、那個 interview 就可能問下你，咦乜事啊？係咪俾人炒魷魚啊？咁而家有好多唔同嘅渠道咧，可以遞交工作嘅。咁醫院啊，同埋大型嘅診所咧，好多時都會有一個自己人事部 HR 嘅網頁，咁佢哋會用問卷同埋上載文件嘅形式咧，去攞你嘅個人資料。如果個問卷嗰度咧冇問我個人介紹嘅話咧，喺上載文件嗰陣時，我都會上載埋我 cover letter。相反咧，比較細啲嘅私人診所咧，可能就係俾個 email address 你去 apply 嗰個 job， 咁你就可以將你個 cover letter 嘅內容變咗做 email 嘅內容。但係我個人選擇咧，就比較中意喺個 email 咧，就係作好簡單嘅個人介紹，然之後咧就將 cover letter 同埋 resume 咧轉做 PDF 俾個 manager 去 download。咁我就覺得呢個方法比較整齊，咁、那個 manager 咧都比較容易去 forward 啊，或者 print 我嗰啲 documents。咁睇我依份 CV 咧，就由我讀大學到而家做嘢嘅所有經驗啊、成就咧，都寫曬落嚟嘅。咁我每一份工咧都要作幾句嘅介紹，講下究竟我係做啲乜啊，有冇啲特別嘅 responsibility。咁喺誒 healthcare 一行咧 ，CV 好多時係用嚟請 lecturer、啊、researcher 或者 manager 嘅 positions。所以我過去十年咧，都可能就遞交過一兩次 CV 係去。嘗試做 research assistant 嘅，咁大家可以睇我個 CV 作參考。基本上你越多年經驗咧，你就應該越多頁嘅。但係 CV 真係唔好常用，所以我都唔會話再點解釋噶啦。咁將依三封求職信擺埋一齊咧，你會發覺我最新嗰封求職信咧，反而比較短嘅喎、哦。咁因為一開始揾工嗰時候咧，我冇乜 experience， 亦都冇乜 skill， 所以咧為咗彌補自己嘅經驗不足，我結果變咗長篇大論。而家睇翻咧，都覺得自己幾暗沉嘅。好多時候上司同我信過，喺 student apply for internship 嗰一個月咧，佢哋收到至少二百幾封求職信，睇到都頭痛。所以好多時咧，個 interview 啊都會暗地裏立下咗一條規則，首先淘汰串錯字嘅信。咁串錯英文字其實真係唔應該存在咯。而家個 computer 都已經自動幫你更改錯字，甚至會提議你用更加流暢嘅英文 grammar。所以其實好多時你串錯字咧，係串錯 manager 個名，甚至乎人將 A 醫院嗰份求職信 send 錯咗去 B 醫院都有。咁依啲信就即刻 out 噶啦。可能會覺得自己唔會犯下咁簡單嘅錯誤，但當你一個禮拜要 send 成十幾封求職信，其實係好容易 m i x s m a l l mistake 咯。當你要 address 個 manager 嗰時候，究竟你要用 Mr、Mrs、Miss 定 Miss？ 咁基本嚟講，除非你知道嗰位女性上司係已經結咗婚，安全嚟講咧，一概都係用 Miss。另外要分清楚 Mr. 同埋 Miss 咧，其實冇你想象中咁簡單。我曾經遞交過一封求職信咧，俾個叫做 Shannon 嘅上司，咁我一直以為呢個係女性用嘅名，結果個上司原來係男人嚟㗎。所以如果你唔係好 sure 咧，就一概用 Mr. 咁而家你確保你冇串錯字啦，而家你就睇下究竟點樣 get 個 interview attention。咁最緊要就係快、靚、正，就係唔好寫咁多廢話，淨係寫點解佢要請你。Cover letter 咧係引到個 manager 去睇你個 resume， 而下一步個 resume 咧就係幫你攞到 interview 嘅答嘅石，所以咧你要喺 manager 睇你 cover letter 嗰十秒內咧得到佢嘅注意。好似我依封長篇大量嘅求職信咧，而家我睇翻都覺得嘥時間。因為我根本睇唔出我當年究竟係有冇能力去勝任呢個職位嘅，所以咧記住依個重要點，唔好寫咁多廢話，單刀直入同佢哋講點解佢哋要請你。
。如果我而家可以重写一份 internship 嘅 cover letter， 我会写，我会强调同埋证明自己一个勤力、勇于上进同埋有热血嘅青年。第一樣咧就要注意格式，除非你做創意啦，否則 just keep it simple， 唔好搞太多花巧嘢。嗱，字咧要夠大隻，最好做十一 point， 啲行數咧唔好太密密麻麻，你都唔好太過疏。每個 section 咧最好都由上到下，唔好搞左右兩邊嗰啲，最好咧就一頁過一目了然，相唔使擺噶啦。等佢哋面試嗰時候睇你真人咧，就可以慢慢睇清楚你個樣。至於可以俾人留下最深刻印象嘅資料咧，最擺到上邊最高。咁因為一開始咧，我冇乜專業嘅 experience， 所以我只可以擺我嘅學歷去最上邊。And then years later, I got more work experience, so that I'll pop that、um, on the top of my resume。而至於越舊嘅事咧，就越簡略就得噶啦。咁如果你睇下我嗰份新嘅 resume 咧，我已經冇再提我中學啊、大學嘅成就，甚至乎我以前做嘅 student placement 咧，我都唔再提噶啦。咁喺我做 intern 嗰時候咧，好多上司都俾一個建議我嘅 ，do things that you can put on your resume。咁因為每個畢業生都係揦住同一張畢業證書，咁如果你想突出咧，就要有特點，例如去 conference presentations 啊，做學生研究啊，做活動籌劃，或者揾啲個人嘅 hobbies。喺書面上營造出一個係好 interesting 嘅人。咁我唔係講笑嘅，一張有良好信譽嘅 reference list 咧，就係我揾到工嘅最大因素。有個三十幾年嘅面試官喺我踏入個 office 之後同我講 ：，I've already called everybody on your reference list。而佢咁做嘅原因咧，就係因為佢知道好多人咧會喺 resume 上邊報大數、誇眾取寵，所以佢寧願首先聯絡 reference list 上邊嘅人，去決定俾唔俾一個面試機會。而且咧 ，radiography 依行咧係其實行頭好窄嘅，咁、那個面試官咧係幾乎認識醫院啊、診所嘅所有 managers， 甚至乎曾經教過佢哋嘅。所以如果你個個 reference list 上邊寫嘅唔係你上司個名，因為有啲人咧真係會寫低同事啊或者朋友個名嘅啫，佢就會直接打電話俾個上司咧去查清楚。所以如果你個 reference list 上邊有良好信譽個名咧，就會更加有影響力。咁我上司曾經同我講過咧，佢突如其來收到個電話，去問佢一個以前喺佢嗰度實習過嘅學生，但係咧，依位上司咧從來冇應承過依位學生咧會做佢個 reference， 所以喺個電話度咧個上司咧都冇俾佢啲好評語。咁依個就係一個反面教材。而且咧，依位上司曾經同我講過咧，佢有時候會拒絕為啲學生做 reference， 個原因咧就係因為佢從來都冇同依啲學生工作過，所以佢唔覺得佢應該俾任何評語。而以我所知咧，就算個上司肯俾你擺佢個名做 reference 咧，唔代表佢一定會讚你嘅喎。我曾經親耳聽過我個上司咧，好坦白同嗰個新嘅 employer 講 ：，I don't think this student is suitable for your workplace。咁一句講曬啦，首先就係做好自己，打穩個基礎，建立好咗個關係，先至問個上司去推薦你。Thank you for watching. If you got any feedback, suggestion, questions, leave them in the comment section down below, and I will answer them. See you next time.